we are now heading down into the undisclosed location of the Trenny and C bunker. Are you ready? We're in the bunker. Let's go down and here. We are this the is green the... Rubbermaids. Oh, yeah. These are the current Trenny and C. Okay. This so, is the current Trenny and C collection. So, by the way, this is going to be heavily edited. First, C, C, yeah. we are going to pour, pour a glass. Yeah, okay. Okay, so can you grab this? We are going to use, choose, two brewers, release 31. Show the people. It's Canadian with, it's got a packing peanut. I was like, does that have a mezcal worm? It looks, does that have a mezcal worm in the bottom of it? No, it's a packing peanut. <laughs> Okay, show the people the label. Oh, two brewers, 31, classic, 46%, absolutely amazing. Better than you deserve, for sure. Well, the thing is, is like, we, we, I deserve, we actually I can't know. say enough about uh, two brewers. I was, they keep putting out some insane stuff. And I messaged you the other day and I was like, I keep forgetting about two brewers, but then every time I try it, it's like the best whiskey I've had like Fuck, in a long time. Yeah, take and, Take a nose of that. So good. It's okay. like tropical, fruity, and bubble gummy, but also like single malty and fucking delicious. So okay. here we go. We have a couple of bins, as you can okay, see. Okay, this is a random bin. This one right now, we've got this the, the giant buffalo trays. But giant, like show it next to your face. Okay. No, we have to go quick though. Okay. We you have a some huge face. Andrea's Fostinelli's <laughs> bare face, which is yep. going to change in the years to come. We've got a couple of them. Oh, this one is the Trenny and C bear face that is actually... Show the people up front. 75% ABV. This is a crazy bear face. That's very cool. This is like nothing they've ever seen before. This is a Gooderham and Warts autographed by Dr. Don and was our whiskey of the year. Um, Love and Souls. Um, we have a... Ardbeg Drum, which was a, a committee release from a few years back. Yeah. We've got the... Uh, Hold them beastie. way close to me. Sorry, we've got the Wee Beastie, which is more common than you would have you thought was going to be the case before. This is an interesting one because this is the Dark Horse at 45%, which is discontinued. But we're also called Dark Batch in the States. In the United States, yeah. I mean, this, this is going to be a long video. Um, We're going to edit this we highly. Got a, a Pike Creek with Dr. Don. What, what, uh, 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 Pike Creek with Dr. Pass Don. Pass them all to me. Because it's... Yeah. Here we go. To Trenny and C. Master Blender. Dr. Don. We Let's have an go. autographed... Um, lot, lot 40, 40 cast strength. Cast strength. Very cool. Here you go. Dr. Don. I want to say that we got sucked into the hype enough that we bought the white walker just for the hell of it just in case something happened yeah no, and nothing will, like, nothing will happen this is the equivalent of like whiskey's shiba inu like <laughs> you bought it because just yeah. in case it went crazy yeah we've got two of these um watch behind you that two brewers you're in it's on the chair and yeah, it's okay. we've got two of these blood oaths a couple of Couple of blood oath, whatever number this is, six or something. Blood oath number six. I mean, the packaging is so fucking classy, you can't not buy it. Yeah. Ooh, Very cool. Oath. Very cool. We've got. Okay, a, wait, pause. Little break. Cheers, these. We've got a Leon Webb signed Shelter Point Smoking Oak, the first batch. Yeah. Nice. Leon Webb autograph. Um. Also got the Trenny brand. Oh, this is very specifically. This is a long that's time ago, 2013, trendy. and uh, that's when I went to Scotland and was a part of a class. And that was the blend of a ten-year-old whiskey they gave us. Uh, we bought a bunch of these old tubs because we thought they they were gonna <laughs> and not make they're them. Quite common, but yeah, that's okay. We thought they were gonna stop making hey, them. Zombie apocalypse. Those are gonna be awesome. Um. Lot 40 Dark Oak, you gotta have one of those hanging around. Yeah, that's a excellent Canadian whiskey. For those of you out there who have not figured it out, we have a lot of great Canadian whiskey. 
but old it's it's so Ezra, seven-year-old um, barrel strength at fifty-eight point five percent. Cool. Have one of those. We have a couple of bomb burgers, twenty oh, twenty twenties. Yeah, cool. Those and I think the fact that they're twenty twenties makes it kind of kind of cool. Was fucked. Yeah. We've got Stag Junior, sixty-five point <laughs> one. The the first year of it being fucked. I forgot we had that Stay bottle, actually. Uh, right next to that, we've got a Wiser 22-year-old cast oh, strength man. port cask. That is beautiful stuff. Oh, yeah. We've got another bottle burger there. Hey. We've got a uh, Wiser 23-year-old oh, cast strength. Yes. And that was probably the best one out of all of them. Um, we've got a regular old Lechag because it's well, the old bottle. the old label, and it was it's excellent so whiskey. Yeah. Uh, in this bin, we've got a mm, mm. kosher. Um, One of the better bourbons we've had. In but this is well, actually no, this is the rye. rye, yeah. this is the rye. I can imagine that's really good though. And we've never tried that. That could be 47%. a forty-seven. That could be a pop open bottle. We we drank the bourbon version. Yes, but we didn't. We forty-seven percent. I got a regular Deanston twelve just in case fucking this thing goes away. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes you got, that's the thing with collecting whiskey, and we should talk about that a little bit. Same is, thing with the Springbank 10. Exactly, that, you never know when it's going to go. We, and you, right? You're scared. And you actually, this, because this is scared. a new release version, too. Like, yeah, and you were. And we still realized that you got a. And then we got a bunch of these old um, sweet wheats. Sweet wheats, which I don't really love. Be honest with you, they're a bit tangy. You mean you love it, and they're worth hundreds uh, yeah. and hundreds and hundreds of dollars? Yeah. So that's bin number one. Um, that's been a lot of fun exploring bin number one of our collection. Okay, have a little sip there. You know what? Next time, we'll come back and join you for bin number two. We've got four bins. Okay. Click like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.